cubs are the first ones that we had brought to the center this year in, in April and May. Um, two little females, one found uh, along a, a logging road just crying for her mother alone for over six hours and the other one uh, sadly was orphaned when mother and another cub were killed on the highway um, up near Courtney. So they'll be with us for 18 months. We are a non-profit organization um, and these bears definitely are expensive to care for. We, we estimate that it's $40 a day per bear uh, and we keep them for 18 months in the full program. Black Bear Rehab is one of our specialties here. Uh, these guys are about five months old now, um, so they'll move through our program. We have three different facilities for them and they'll be raised here um, to make them as wild as, as we can. We hide food for them and use different scents and, and techniques so that they're not seeing people, they're not hearing people. Um, and then they will, after 18 months of time, they'll be released back into the wild as, as wild bears. Go interactive with Fiona. I had a couple of different options for what to do on my lunch break today. I was thinking I could sit in my car and eat some pretzels and catch up on my Facebook. Or I could come downtown and fire the cannon at the bastion. Now, I've done the pretzel thing before, but I have never fired a cannon. So, here I am. Every day we fire the cannons at noon. Um, the ceremony starts at about 11.45 and the bagpiper will be here playing his songs. On Thursdays and Saturdays, the Brigadoon Highland dancers come down and they dance before the ceremony. And then also on Thursdays and Saturdays, I do a short 20 minute guided tour of the Bastion um, right after the cannon firing. The cannons were cast in England in the 1830s and they would have been used aboard a ship and they were left here by the Hudson's Bay Company when they built the Bastion in 1853. I can pick whichever cannon I want to fire? Yep. Awesome. I pick this one. Okay. Okay, so what's the process? What am I gonna do? Okay, so when you're ready to fire, there's going to be a mound of gunpowder right here. Okay. Oh. And then I'm gonna pass you the lint stock. It's gonna be lit on this end. Oh. And you're gonna wanna stand back here and you're just going to touch it down to the gunpowder and then pull it back up and the cannon will go off. Wow. And you said we have to shoot upwind? Right. So okay. we, the wind is blowing that way. That so way. we want to make sure we're standing over here so the smoke doesn't blow into our face. Okay. I don't have to aim it, do I? Nope. No, it's good to go? <laughs> yep. All right. The first time I fired the cannon, I sort of knew what to expect because I had seen the cannon firing before, but it's definitely different when you do it yourself for the first time. You don't realize just how loud it is. Um, and it's a little startling. The cannon is ready to fire. Prepare to fire. All right, here it goes. So right above the powder, right? You just want to touch the powder, Where? yep. All right. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Fun, huh? Wow, that was really cool. <laughs> I think the tradition has um, lasted so long because it's a way to sort of remember the history of the Hudson's Bay Company and the formation of Nanaimo and just sort of a special way to welcome uh, visitors to the city and it's fun. That's a new one for me. Don't think I'll be forgetting that anytime soon. Go presents Random Acts of Magic. We are here at the Fayo Sutton Park having some fun with some of the passerbys here. Met some new friends. What's your name? I'm Katie. Katie, nice to meet you, Katie. You too. My name's Mike. I have a bottle of water. Katie, do me a favor. Take the bottle of water, hang on to it. Okay. Okay. And I want you to take the lid off. Very good. And I'll take it. Now I want you to hold the bottle of water out as far as you can. Very good. And I want you to slowly, slowly pour a little bit of it out. Just a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right. That's what I want you to do. I want you to take your other hand, hold it on top of the bottle. I don't want to touch anything. All right, now you have to trust me a little bit. I want you to slowly turn it over and keep your fingers there. Keep going, you'll feel a little bit of water, you'll feel a little bit of water, okay, good. Now, you have to trust me. This is what we're gonna do. I want you to slowly, slowly pull your fingers away. Yeah, really slow, really slow. There we go. Yeah, pull the hands right away. Whoa! Sweet. You have water staying right in there. I want you to hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up really high. I want you to look inside. Look at the water. All right. Tilt it to the camera so the camera can see the water just suspended in there. All right. Katie, bring it right back. All right. Right about there. 
We're gonna take this toothpick, we're gonna put it right up inside just like David, stay back. So. You might get wet. There you go. Oh, no. We can even put that in there. Now this is what I want you to do, Katie. I want you to take a firm grip now. I want you to concentrate. Firm, firm, really firm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Big one, big squeeze. Big squeeze. There you go, look at that. Water's gonna come right out. A Little bit of magic right here on Shaw TV with Katie. Before we meet with Nanaimo Mayor Bill McKay today, I am extending an apology. A couple of weeks ago, I crossed a line and shared my personal opinion on the topic of arts and culture funding in our city and the role that it plays. This was inappropriate and unprofessional of me, and for this, I am sorry. Here at Shaw TV, we strive to be unbiased and professional at all times when handling controversial topics, and we thank our viewers for taking the time to remind us of that responsibility.